Hello everyone, I'm Chris, your car advisor, expert in LED driving lights, and I'm here to enlighten you. How to ensure your LED auxiliary lights are legal on public roads. First, the reference numbers. Every car or truck headlight compliant with ECE regulation has a reference number. You'll find it on the lens, next to the E-mark or on the product housing. This number indicates the intensity of the high beam. The higher the number, the brighter the headlight. Hey, easy on the light. Well, as you can see, the intensity has to be regulated. To drive on a public road, the maximum intensity allowed for a vehicle corresponds to a reference number of 100. Depending on the car headlight technology, this number varies from 12.5 up to 25 per headlight. The auxiliary lights are no exception to the rule. Their reference numbers range from 12.5 to 50, depending on the model. Now that the references are no longer a mystery to you, we're going to talk about the rules to install auxiliary lights. First, for high beam lights, and then for position lights. Well, like soulmates, you can't separate them. They're always installed in pairs. For cars, no more than four high beam lights are installed at a time, and for trucks, no more than six. This includes, of course, the lights already present on the vehicle. And remember, the sum of the reference numbers of all high beam lights on the vehicle must not exceed 100. Let's take a concrete example here. Is it possible to equip an halogen car with two additional Philips Altenon Drive LED 10 inches light bars? Well, let's do the math. 17.5 plus 17.5 plus 30 plus 30 equals 95. Yeah, okay, it works. Good job. As I said, auxiliary lights have to be installed in pairs. Yet, some of you could prefer to install only one light bar on the vehicle. Well, that's possible with a certified single mount light bar like the Philips Alton and Drive 5103 and 5150. They correspond to two light units combined into a single light bar but working at the same time. These specific models are certified as being two lamps and therefore can be installed individually on vehicles and still be considered a pair. And you can install them on the front grille or on the roof for cars, and on the grille and or on the roof for trucks. Now, let's talk about the installation of auxiliary position lights on vehicles under ECE 148. Obviously, they have to be installed in pairs, Maximum four parallel parking lights for cars and trucks, including existing lights, and you have to wire them directly, not with a command switch, to function in parallel of the car's position light. And be careful, you can't fit the lights just anywhere. You have to respect the rules of width and height for this installation. Like headlights in the night, I hope that my explanations have dazzled you. Or at least, they've allowed you to see more clearly. Innovation and you, Philips.